This is Rao Mung, also known as water spinach. Really, really great wok toss with just simply garlic or preserved bean curd. What else do we have here? We've got Vietnamese spinach or Rao Mong Thai. Nice slimy, like okra kind of texture. Great in clear broths. Here we have Rao Yen, amaranth leaf. Great in soups and stir fries as well. Very, very good for you and cooling for your body. Now this one here in the gourd family, this is called hairy melon. It's got little spikes on there, great in soups, and it just becomes nice and soft and great, great texture. Absorbs all the flavour. This is another melon as well. Now this is called winter melon. Again, cooling, great for winter dishes. What else do we have here? Galangal, the superior cousin to the ginger. Got a nice brown reddish colour, more spicy, more preppier than the ginger, and worth a lot more as well. And I love this. This is called pennywort leaf. Just simply cook it up slowly, some sugar, and a really nice, refreshing, cooling drink. Rauma. Now, all along this right-hand side, there's all these dried medicinal herbs. There's so many varieties, I'm not too sure what they all are. I mean, look at this one. This is a gigantic, huge, oversized mushroom. I guess you just break that down and boil it up. That's 400,000 for one kilo, so it's like $30, so it's not that cheap. We've got some, what have we got here? A little baby cobra with some medicinal herbs and some rice wine. I guess you drink that so you can be nice and strong. And if you don't know what they all are, just grab one of these packs. Got some dried lizard skin, got some goji berries, we've got some ginseng, some starfish, some black cardamom, and again, boil it all up, drink it, and it's cooling for your body and good for you. The markets in Sapa must be one of the most exciting markets I've seen in all of Vietnam. Just coming down the stone cobble steps, there's so much happening to my left and to my right. The produce is so green and so fresh. And the meat section, they've got everything from chicken, ducks, beef, pig, and you know what? Also, buffalo meat. Now, I've never tried buffalo meat, and the ladies tell me that it's much leaner than the beef. and lots more protein as well. Now, I don't know what I was going to cook that with, and I saw these really unusual vegetable, which is called kohlrabi. Now, kohl in German means cabbage. It's in the cabbage family, and it's found in all of China. Now, Sapa borders China, so in Sapa, it's abundant here. Now, I've peeled that and finely juliened it together with some carrot. Now, if you try kohlrabi, it's really, really crisp. It retains its texture and tastes a lot like cabbage as well. Really, really good. Lots of juice. So a spoon of sugar into my kohlrabi and carrot and some white vinegar. Just gonna pour that in around a cup of that and just allow it to pickle and draw out all of the flavor. So I'm just gonna let that pickle for around 20 minutes. But if you've got more time, an hour is best. Just throw it in the fridge covered. I'm gonna leave that aside. Whilst I'm doing that, I'm gonna grab all my fresh herbs that I'm gonna to toss with this salad. So I've got perilla leaf with gorgeous color, smells fantastic, some green mint, some Vietnamese mint, so long, spicy, peppery. Throw whatever you like in. I've got some sawtooth coriander as well, some Asian basil, and some rice paddy herb. Now, whenever you're wok tossing or stir frying beef or buffalo, make sure that the pan is always really, really hot. Wait until smoke comes up, because I want to undercook it, but I also want to char the outside as well. So see that smoke coming up now? That's about ready. I'm going to put some vegetable oil in. Make sure the oil's hot. It's going to stir fry this for a minute or a minute and a half. That buffalo meat just looks really, really nice and tender. Throw that in. It, bit of fire, so that's good. You want to char it, let all the smokiness and the flavour of the pan or wok come out. I hope I didn't burn anyone's hair. I'm going to season with a bit of salt. I'm going to throw some garlic in now. And that will do. 
really, really light cooking. Mm, really, really good. Perfect. Now, this lady over here is saying it's not cooked yet. And that's right, it's not cooked. I don't want to cook it entirely. Now, if you're cooking beef or buffalo, and it's really, really good quality, if you overcook it, it just gets really, really tough. So never overcook it. I'm gonna strain my vinegar out of my kohlrabi and carrots. Now, that's gonna be a little bit sweet and tart at the same time. That's exactly what I'm after. I'm gonna throw in my buffalo meat. Mmm, so good. Mm Throw that all in. My fresh herbs, I'm gonna slice that up. Not too finely. Roll it all up in your hands like that and just slice. Now what's happening now is my, my buffalo's resting. All the juice is coming out of it, falling onto the kohlrabi and carrot, just infusing all the flavor. Fresh herbs, some fried Asian shallots, some fried garlic chips. Lots of that. I've got a little sweet fish sauce that I've made with sugar and vinegar and water. Chili, garlic, a few tablespoons of that. Gonna mix that all up. Now always use your bare hands, all right? It makes the dish a lot better. Look at the color in that. It just looks fantastic. Onto your plate. We've got the warm buffalo, the cold kohlrabi and carrot. The flavors are so balanced out. Bit of peanuts on the top. Some fresh chili. And that's my warm buffalo and kohlrabi salad. Rai Su Hao to Joe.